Hey collective, it's chatting with you and I'm back with another video. It was good y'all. I don't know why I'm being guided to start with the scoop deck, so we're going to start with it. I feel like whoever I'm speaking to, you could be, um, somebody could be like craving ice, like eating a lot of ice or like spicy food or putting like hot sauce on everything. I'm hearing be, be mindful though, cause that could create some sort of, um, what is it? like stomach problems like i'm getting like maybe like gas bubbles or something like that so just be mindful but i feel like what i'm speaking to you definitely in your element you just been chilling that's the vibes i'm getting so let's see what come out that that's crazy that black magic cards try to come <laughs> Man, it's like, yeah, I feel like you're not worried about that shit. Like, I feel like whoever I'm speaking to, you very spiritual. So you you understand how this shit works. You understand that people try to send energies your way and this and that. But it's like, you don't pay that shit no mind. You don't get too into it. Like, you're like, yeah, whatever. Something could be significant about January 3rd. Let's get some messages out. What do the collective need to see? Tarot reading. You could be a tarot card reader or you could just be, um, somebody could be watching readings on you or getting readings done on you. You got stuck in the past. Shook. I don't know why I'm getting like you could have had some homegirls, you know, people that you grew up with, um, that you knew from a very young age. They could be trying to keep you stuck in the past. This person could read tarot too. Okay, and I feel like this is somebody, this person, I'm also getting that this person could be a little bit older than you. You could have looked at them as a mentor, but this person is trying to, they trying to see what's up with you with this tarot card, with this tarot reading, this person could um, read tarot, but it's like they are abusing their gifts is what i'm hearing they could be really getting readings on you or doing readings on you trying to find ways to keep you stuck or um just to see what's going on with you i feel like you may not even notice this person could have um dark nails you know i'm getting they could paint their nails like navy blue burgundy black brown they could have a lot of tattoos. Leveling up like purpose. See, but see, when this person, every time they get a reading on you, that's all they get. That's all, either that's all they see as a tarot reader, or that's all the reader is telling them. Like, man, this person is in a fucking life purpose, leveling up. They not worried about you. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's like, that's the energy the reader is giving them. Like, or it's like, if this person is the tarot reader who's in your in energy that's all they seeing something could be significant about new year's your birthday could be on new year's or like i just feel like you get in a new beginning i don't know somebody may own a laundromat or be wanting to open up a laundromat i know this say landry but when i heard it, it like it's missing the you it gave me laundry so some like I said, somebody is definitely in a life purpose, working on uh, new things, different ideas, and that's the first time I actually seen that in this card. So that just lets me know that, yeah, 
Look, you got lying and childish. See, I feel like that's that tarot card reader. Like, this person who going to get readings or whatever, it's like the person they get in that... I hope y'all following me. Either the person who is trying to keep you stuck in your energy, somebody that you know from your past, they could be a reader, right? They could read tarot and they in your energy trying to see what's going on with you. And they cards are showing them that you ain't doing shit but leveling up and in your life purpose. Whatever you doing, you're destined to do that shit. If somebody is actually paying to get readings on you, they seeing the same shit. They seeing the same exact shit. Shit, you could be a tarot card reader and somebody trying to keep you stuck. Trying to keep you in your head about some shit or not wanting you to level up and succeed. Wanting you to second guess yourself. But I'm picking up strong, like, it's somebody who reads tarot, too. That wants you, that want to keep you stuck. <laughs> but, uh-oh. So you got King of Wands. It could be this King of Wands energy who's getting tarot card readings on you. Somebody that you could have had relations with in the past. And it's like, whatever they see in, in this, yeah. Now you got the Queen of Wands out here. It's like, whatever they see in this um, read, they don't like that shit. They don't like that shit. It could really be a couple. Two people going together, getting readings on you. Two of swords. But it's like, I feel like they are blocked from your energy. Like, it's like they ain't seeing too much. It's like spirit ain't letting them. Yeah, look, with the seven of wands. It's like, nah, I'm going to show you this, this bitch leveling up. She do, she on her shit. But what I'm not going to show you is like how fast it's coming or when it's coming. Just know that shit coming. Yeah, with the hangman. It's like somebody feels stuck. Like, whatever they try to do, it ain't working. It's like shit is happening too fast in your life. Like, by the time they, it's, it's like if a reader tell them something and they try to create some sort of blockage, because I swear to God, that black magic card was really trying to come out. The first card out, and uh-uh, Spirit was like, hell no. Nah. Like, you can't, it's like whatever they trying to do, you already be missing the mark. I feel like it could be a couple. Because i just seen the lovers. So this could be somebody that you was dealing with from your past. And this King of Wands energy could be stuck on you. You know? And it's like whoever they are with doesn't like the fact that, you know, so they think, oh, we're going to do a little boo-boo juju or whatever the fucking case may be. Or they could have made it seem, this King of Wands could have made it seem like to his person that you as a tarot reader are doing shit on them to stop them or whatever the fuck well what i'm getting is whoever's paying for these readings they ain't got no they ain't got no real money to pay for them shits it's like these people is look you got the world <laughs> and i see the ace of swords at the bottom of the deck it's like these people ain't got no money to pay for them shits and i seen the six of pentacles it's like they robbing Peter. To, they rob. I keep saying that, right? They keep robbing Peter to pay Paul just to put some shit on you or just to get info on you. And it's like, honey, you better off minding your business or investing that money into something else. Strength. Yeah, I feel like you got the truth and clarity. You close these fucking cycles out. You have the strength to, and that's why you're getting a new beginning. It don't fucking matter. That's the justice of the situation. These people try to do some unjustifiable shit and see Spirit had enough of it. Spirit's like, nah, we're not doing that. It's no more of that. It's no more of that. Yeah, you overcame a whole lot of shit. A whole lot of shit. And it's like, you just waiting for your ships to come in. Hold on, y'all. 
there. Yeah, sorry y'all. My damn, I had something on the um stove. But anyway, I feel like whatever these people did, the shit is just blowing up in their face. That's all. Yeah, they did a whole lot of lying, manipulating. But some of these people, they could have been manipulating tarot card readers. Like, oh, this person's doing this, doing that, fucking up our relationship, stability. Like, this person was lying. They could have been like, oh, I'm trying to leave her. Um, I feel like she's doing something to me. She's doing something on me. And all along, it's just the, the magic backfiring. Ain't nobody doing shit to these people. The sun definitely about to blow up in people's face. Yup, hidden truth and growth. I feel like these people is really about to see you level up, like, in more ways than one. You know, I feel like you could have been somebody who was real reserved and just, um, not really showing the world the real you, like... But see, it's like the more that people pick and, and try to judge what it is that you do, it's like the, the more that should just make you want to step out into who the fuck you really are. Like, okay, since you want to judge me, let me show you what I really could do. Let me give you something to talk about. I feel like you really stepping in your power, doing everything that you said you was going to do. And spirit got your back through it all. Spirit got your back through it all. You are definitely being guided right now. Somebody could be seeing a lot of feathers. Um, I'm hearing black cats. Got the copycat coming out. I keep seeing this evil eye. What's behind this evil eye? Cuffing season. Yeah, I'm telling you, it's definitely, it was definitely around um, a relationship or something. Like I said, this person could have been telling, like, it's like whoever I'm speaking for, because I'm picking up on different energies. Like, these people... This King of Wands, this copycat could even be this Queen of Wands energy. Could be telling this tarot reader, oh, she she won't leave us alone. Um, but we trying to work it out, make things right. She keeps bothering him. You not worried about these people. You really not worried about these people. This copycat energy is fucking crazy. It's like they both weird. They meant for each other. This king of wands, queen of wands. These two motherfuckers is meant for each other. judgment to a wands yeah yeah it's like these people going through judgment because why are you in this person business look you got the judgment card right here why are you in this person business and i think that's another thing it's like this tarot card reader could be telling them like because see when shit come out 
Yeah, I see the Five of Swords and the Three of Pentacles. See, this tarot reader, she gonna go through some sort of judgment too. Because I'm getting this, this bitch be lying. Yep. She be lying, telling them, oh, yeah, Collective is going through judgment for what they doing to you. Oh, do this. She's telling these people, take this and that to cut the cord or whatever, whatever the fuck. But it's like, you're not even worried about them. It's no cord to cut. You don't care. You don't care. All these motherfuckers going through judgment. Because see, this tarot card reader, bitch, she just do shit for money. She don't give a fuck. The Eight of Cups and the Hierophant. Six of Swords, Page of Swords. It's like, this person don't give a fuck. As long as she getting her coins. But I see a lot of sword energy out here. So that just lets me know these people, they in a fucking head. Always plotting like this. This lady could even be doing like a money rituals, like money spells over your finances. I'm telling you, it's two lovers. That king of wands, queen of wands. But see, they about to go through a whole lot of hardships. As a fucking whole, as a couple, because y'all y'all dumb as shit. Yeah, six of six of pentacles. I'm telling you, somebody finances is all out of whack. These people wanted to be doing readings, doing spells over your money. Like, man, it was just a whole lot. I'm even getting that a tarot card reader could have did spells over. Like, say these people came to get a reader and they didn't have. They could have only had half. Or the full amount. I mean, not the... Like, they could have only had half. Or been like, oh, you know, can we get a reading? And I'm a owe you type shit. This tarot reader went and did, like, some sort of money ritual. To help them get money to pay her. And this person could have been, like, knowing. Look. Look, I cannot fucking make it up. This, this, this King of Wands, this could be like this King of Wands, somebody this King of Wands know. Okay, that's that Emperor energy. But see, this, uh, um, or oh, it don't have to be an Emperor. This person is definitely not an Emperor doing no shit like that. That could just be an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. But, um, this person definitely was doing some sort of money rituals, some money spells. And then they would call and be like, hey, um, like they would give it like 24, 48 hours and be like, hey, oh, what's going on? Blah, blah, blah. Because see, this terror reader is innate energy, too. So they know when they get in money. They know like this person is like a fucking I can, look. I cut the deck on a page of cups. <coughs> These people is cool. So she don't mind doing favors. Like, yeah, you could owe me. Yeah, I'll do a money spell for you. Yeah, I'll do a, a ritual for you. You can owe me. They don't know. Y'all all fucking creating karmic debt for all y'all motherfuckers. All y'all motherfuckers about to be in a hole. For fucking with somebody doing their life purpose. And that's some bum ass shit. Like, who the fuck putting spell work on layaway? Yeah, I'm telling you, but see, you for you collective, you about to be celebrating a new job, a new job offer. Be mindful of who you share your information to and all that shit. Because motherfuckers um is definitely gonna try to do black magic and create blockages. But I feel like like I said, you already know that. So you just be chilling. I'm here. Kick off your shoes and relax your feet. Party to the uh on the SKE, just kicking it, just kicking, just kicking. Yeah, 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 you chilling. Like I said, these motherfuckers, man, listen, man, listen. And I cut it back on balance again. I'm telling you, balance gonna come in this situation because I feel like whoever it is is like too much, but I feel like you surrendered that shit. And that's why things is just picking up so fast for you. Because you may not have even realized. It was so much for you. 
you may not have even realized when and where you let that shit go where you was just like you know what fuck this fuck them i'ma just chill and play it how i play it and that's why you got that's why you got reasons to celebrate these motherfuckers is just weird grief I understand that losing something is the opportunity to, to appreciate it. Yeah, to see that when 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 this person lost you, this King of Wands Emperor Energy, they they got mad at themselves for not appreciating what the fuck they had, and because they went through some sort of grief process of losing you, they they wanted to fucking now they want to sabotage the shit. Then you got relationships and friendship. It could be friends, people you was in relationships, whoever. It could even be a friend and somebody you was in a relationship with working together. But see, I feel like you understand that you understand that people came into your life for a reason. And see, now that you on to bigger and better things, you know that bigger and better people are coming your way. Simple. Simple. Somebody about to be with a whole emperor. Somebody who ain't gonna play about you. You ain't worried about that shit. You like, man, listen. All that magic and shit y'all doing. Y'all could kiss my black ass. I'm still going to be leveling up. Because I'm in my life purpose. That's the difference. When you in your life purpose, you cannot stop somebody from doing anything. As long as they doing what they being guided to do, who the fuck are you to stop them? The hell? That like, people are just so weird. You could be a tarot reader. You could be a tarot reader. I'm telling you. It's a lot going on in this tarot community. It's fucking fucked up ass tarot readers acting like this is their life purpose. Fucking over real tarot readers. People who really supposed to be doing this shit. People crazy. But that's the message that I have for you all. And until next time.